Okay, April 20th, 2022, let's do some video notes on timed text. Okay, so I was looking into this thing. This is a tweet I tweeted at Netflix Engineering about a month ago. And I'm trying to figure out what sets the dynamic positioning of time text. So time text is what they call their captions. And so on certain shows, well, let me set the context a little bit, actually. Uh... Here, okay, so this is what Netflix captions usually look like. It's just set in a default sans serif. It's centered. There's no interesting positioning. And uh, you can actually customize this. So there is a Netflix Help Center article on customizing your captions. And right now, this is my customization. I have it set to the default. I haven't changed anything. Despite these defaults being set, certain shows show a different caption setting. And actually, when I Google image search Netflix captions, the first one that came up said this is not the default. Some It, it seems like it's on a show-by-show show basis that you get this much larger monospaced font in like much larger font size, and the positioning is not centered. So what's even more interesting is that the positioning seems to be dynamic. So here... You know, the first line has a certain exposition, and the second line has a certain exposition. You know, I go to the next, you know, th these are just screenshots that I took. And here it seems to be right aligned. And then here it seems, it seems to have a different positioning. So I'm just wondering, like, wh how, what is setting that? And I can't find any information on that. Okay, so Netflix does have a tech blog. This is their tech blog on Medium. I searched all over, couldn't find anything on it. The only real thing I learned, I'll keep these open so I can put these all in the, sh in the captions. The only th real thing I learned is that they call their caption time text and they have a time text authoring language. This is from about a year ago. Okay, so timed text, it, it just seems to be what they're calling their captions. It doesn't have to do with the positioning. Okay, and then they do have a time text style guide. The only thing I found on positioning here was it says for line treatments as prefer a bottom heavy pyramid shape for subtitles, but avoid having just one or two on the top line. So that just seems to be for standard captioning. It doesn't seem to be for this interesting uh, caption format. Okay, uh, I'll close this. That's appearance, appearance. Uh, and then, yeah, let me let me say like kind of why I was interested in this is because for my microtrend series, I was looking at uh, time text voiceover. So, so captioning on the web, audio captioning, I guess, in the form of voiceovers um, and just thinking about, you know, how dynamic positioning might relate to it. I mean, it, it's not all that relevant, but, uh, you know, for web, you know, I worked on video players before. Captioning is pretty straightforward. You need a web VTT file. Um, there's this whole piece from Mozilla on this captions versus subtitles. There seems to be a semantic difference uh, as that relates to localization. I'm not sure that's all in, that important to what I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I guess what I'm kind of looking for is like some kind of caption file format that not only takes into account, you know, a certain string with a timestamp, string, timestamp, string, timestamp, timestamp. Uh, but also a positioning value. And and that positioning value would have to be line by line, which is even more interesting. Like coming back to this first example, it's so strange is that the, it's a positioning for line one and line two. So the line breaks are encoded. So not sure. Tweeted at them, didn't get an answer. Still, still curious as to what's going on. That's all. These are just video notes.